Hey guys, this is uh, Limit Gaming here. Here's a uh, entire a video of episode one of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Hope you guys enjoy it. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the Old Mill. Fuck yes! Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. No trespassing? No way. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. An old lumber car. I guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. Help you, miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back if nothing says badass like a nice floral print? I'd join a motorcycle gang if I had any friends. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. Band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. Those guys need to get a room. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. I understand. I understand, really. And, and, and it won't ever happen again, I swear. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Kid. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Aww. 
Isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid, because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. A girl like you, with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle, shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan... <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Just look the other way. No one will know. Besides, people love me. I'm funny. Around here, funny people have a way of getting hurt. You know, you can't spell fun without F you. You're, you're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> And you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on it. This is intense! <laughs> Shit! Hey, Delia, come! Cute dog. <laughs> Just follow the lights and the sound. I can't wait to get in there and thrash. What's her name? Delia. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. Damon Merrick again? Who is this guy? Twenty bucks, baby. Twenty bucks? That's robbery. And don't call me baby. Fine. Twenty bucks, thief. That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. How can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? Classy. No thanks. I try to avoid hepatitis when I can. Frank Bowers? What is he doing here? Yo! Frank! Hey! I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that getup, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? God, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. So, you come here a lot, or...? Yeah. Right. It's cool. 
I'm really glad you approve. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. How about you spot me some? You know I'm good for it. <laughs> no way. I learned my lesson last time. Money first. Never mind, then. <sighs> Suit yourself. Reminds me of the way I make important life choices. Graffiti everywhere. I think they missed a spot. Three hundred dock workers laid off, their pensions canceled. God, Prescott's a real tool. Sweet dreams, hombre. Damn, there are a lot of people here. Here we go. I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Fuck off, man. Hey, you don't know who I am, do you? No. And I give zero shits. And hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. Word. Oh, this is gonna be good. 
I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Sometimes, all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Hey, Max. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you.
Wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon. Last night, seeing Firewalk live. Those skeevy assholes. Yeah. Girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Better living through chemistry. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? One of these days, I'm actually going to use you to do my homework. Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Wait, what? Who? What photo? I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. God was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong, and it was awesome. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Uh, I really should get going. Fun fact. Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. 
Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. Words of wisdom, don't fail me now. Just ask Steve Jobs. Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Mom's old engagement ring. It's supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, mom's selling her engagement ring? Can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Mom's finally making her bed again. I guess that's a good sign. Ah, Mom. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of Dad. What's the matter, Mom? You don't want Dad to see your new boyfriend? You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. That really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. Joyce Price, AKA Mom. She looks as beat as I feel. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. 
Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse, then? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah. I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But Mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Never again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad. Your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying. I, I guess. guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do.
We're already supporting one. Thanks. From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Or it's because we can't afford nice things. Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so... Nobody's fault, really. Here they are. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I'd better get going. I actually have to let this jack-off drive me to school? This is my life now? Kill me. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not part... hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Damn. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend.
There's his stupid socket wrench set. <sighs> Let's get the shit show over with. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pop. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Fine, whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other. But you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Mm-hmm. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. Country music. <laughs> Dad loved this song. I just can't tell you that I miss you, my friend. What a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. This... This isn't right. If Mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Turn it up. Maybe I'm not my lover from the ocean 
Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking... Do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Meh. Well, at least not for now. Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw Firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. You can't judge a girl by the elitist fascist school her mother makes her go to, you know? 
<laughs> I get that. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, okay. Great. Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. Morning, Miss Grant. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? It's funny, uh, the title's actually a play on the song, Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? And that's... funny? It is, if you're the wolf. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. 
It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's Cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elama, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. 
You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavyset orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave! You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game! It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon? Nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, uh, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge. Where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? You know what I love? Making shoes out of dragonkin. I point at my shoes. I'm wearing a pair, now. Air dragonkins. There's something special about your scaly skin, how it's waterproof, but also breathes. So comfy. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. The dragon can please with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. This tabletop shit is hard. Try playing solo. The dragonkin swallows the key, pointing at his stomach and then his own butt, laughing at you. Then he... I shove my axe through the cage, right into his stomach. Then I twist it, and then pull it out. His guts and shit start falling everywhere, but I jam my hands inside his open stomach, grabbing the key. Then, in the final moments before he dies, I hold the key up to his face. And then I laugh. Normally, I'd say you failed the challenge, except that was so horrifically amazing. You won. Yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron. Warlord of the Raiders of the Black Well. 
sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows, ha 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 Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? What's Wrathful Rush? It's like a shoulder slam, an angry, angry shoulder slam. Okay, I do that. You scream with wrathful rage, then charge. Durgeron is caught off guard, and he fails to dodge. You slam your shoulder into him, knocking him back and doing some damage. Hell yeah. Next. I want to punch that stupid man-cow in the dick. Like, right in the dick? Right in the dick. You miss. Durgron burst out laughing as you stumble past him. Asshole. He gores you in the side with a horn. Eight damage. Ouch. What do you do next? <gasps> oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural severing both feet at the ankles. I am so sorry. Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? I take one last swing at Durg... Dur Durface's head! You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. 
You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Got here, Twitch. Don't call me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys. No need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you! You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Picking on someone your own size, which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat! You shut the fuck up! Go Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip.
Good. You're here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues Hath I listened to Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Meow. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Miranda's an idiot, because falling in love is stupid. What is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive, is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so... Why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be... Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Rachel, is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. 
Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. <laughs> I I'd never seen Firewalk live. <laughs> Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. Let's get the hell out of here. Sure you don't want to just grab the bus or nope if we're gonna go rogue we're doing it right well what the hell am i getting into here where does this thing go Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. The thing's heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. 
What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? You're high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun. V-Card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay, <laughs> so ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So... Which is the lie? I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad, because it's true. Prove it. Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Damn. I'm afraid the lie was New York. I'm a Cali girl, born and raised. So, New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Okay, your turn, Bryce. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo-hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, 
I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. How could you possibly know that? I broke my wrist when I was 10. Ah. Oh. The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... six years ago? Seven. Well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. So... If my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is... something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket, then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations, second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen?
cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! It's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. I know all the world's a stage and shit, but I'm not an actor. Really? I see you acting like you're tough all the time in school. I... That... Damn it. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her.
The lonely oak looks lonely. Guess even trees have outcasts. Looks like this one might actually be working. This whole day is out of order, but in the best possible way. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost. Or some shit. Yuck. Cliche much, AW and OL? I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not... What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. What's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. There's gotta be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. Whoa, that's badass. Wonder if I can get that quarter out of the viewfinder. I don't want to head down there just yet. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. Get 
out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. This trash can is in pretty high demand. Bye, you fools. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Got power, activate. to boast so I'll let you do it for me Chloe Price you are truly the viewfinder whisperer I stand in awe of your powers Rachel smells like Jasmine is she smelling me right now too Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with these two? And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. <laughs> wow. That was dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. All right. Let's see. Why do we always hold hands like this? Didn't you tell me you were ambidextrous? No, I didn't. I said I was ambisexual. Oh, so you can have sex with both of your hands? Exactly. Wanna see? Only if you let go of my hat first. <laughs> 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 The 
This is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. <laughs> Jackpot! Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Wait, you're a prostitute? But I'm a prostitute! Now who gets paid? <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you alright? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead? No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And... Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. Alright. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. There it is. What, what do Time we to do? snatch and run. Should we check her pulse? Thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! I, I've, I've seen this kind of thing before. This woman clearly has a wound that needs to be sterilized. Do you happen to have any alcohol? I didn't see a wound. Look closer. In the meantime, I'll search for the booze. Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? Rachel! Run! What the hell? So, maybe your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now.
Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You... have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? I've heard that actors are moody, but... Wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that alright with you? Okay. Actually... No. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. <laughs> yeah. I, I get it. I know I'm not the easiest person to be around. I don't exactly have tons of experience with the whole friendship thing. Not everything revolves around you, Chloe. I didn't say it did. I'm just saying I understand. No, you really don't. Fuck! <laughs> uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. Hey, check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! Can I see? Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all. With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass. But seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? I mean, fuck, are you actually going to make me say it? Say what exactly? You know, like, a friendship, but more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on, say something. Chloe, I'm sorry. I am really, really sorry. But... I can't. I can't. You 
even though I want to. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. Fuck. This. Place. You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. Understood your heart on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David.
Why are you crying, sweetheart? Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? I don't feel drunk. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. I guess I did that. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. What's past is prologue and shit. Sometimes people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it. You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. 
You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I, thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome and... You had the courage to tell me that you feel it, too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? Two against one. But you wouldn't take any shit from them. I'd be dead if you hadn't thrown that bottle. You inspired me. What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? 
Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you. Come on.